Hey guys! So today's video is going to be what to do and not to do and what to expect at a Korean business meeting. Korean business meetings, you could be having an interview, you might be starting up like a small company yourself and you just need to meet many people. I'm also going to be diving into the entertainment meetings because they could be a little bit different. And what to do at Ohesik, which is kind of like a mandatory group get-together at night. And let you guys know some of the mistakes that I've made because I wasn't too familiar with like that Korean culture because I grew up in the States. So let's talk about where usually Korean meetings take place. Now in Korea, a lot of people actually about like 80% of the time you will have meetings at coffee shops. Coffee shop meetings are very very common in Korea. So in the Western culture, everything is about Dutch pay, right? In Korea, who pays for the coffee? Now if you're the person who is initiating the meeting, you should be the one buying the coffee. If you're being called to a meeting, usually they will serve you coffee. But it is, I guess, respectful if someone is paying for for you, we all go like, oh no, no, I'll pay, I'll pay, you know, like pretend to take your wallet out. At least you gotta have that kind of etiquette instead of just being like, oh, I know you're gonna pay everything. Now, what about meals? Should you take someone to a meal or a coffee shop? If you take someone to a meal or if someone does take you to a meal, usually meals have to do with bigger requests. But for simple meetings, coffee shop is perfect. To be respectful, you should ask the person or they should ask you, would you like some snacks? Such as like in the coffee shops, they sell a little bit of cakes. If you're the one initiating the meeting, it's good to kind of ask the people if they do want anything else, just out of respect. If you end up going to someone's office and you're the one asking for a favor or initiating the meeting, it is really important to bring a little bit of snack. For example, if I go to someone's like office for the first time, I usually go to the Pyeonny Jam and buy canned snacks or like Ferro Rocher chocolate. So definitely, I do recommend you bringing coffee or like bringing a little bit of snack. You will see in Korea that people ask for your age right at the start like oh how old are you are you older than me are you a tongseng are you oppa onni and this is very common i know in the western it is a little bit rude i think i mean it's not rude but like it's not common to ask people's age but in korea if someone asks for your age don't be like do you want to know my personal secrets or something just know that the senior status is very 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 predominant in korea and that depends how you will talk to that person and how you will cater that person and how you'll present to the person but for example if someone is significant older, you do have to put a little bit more effort into your etiquette and you do have to use more of a formal language and formal signs when it comes to like your hand gestures, the way you look at the person, the way you present your work. So let's talk about what not to do and what is rude to a senior. Number one to a senior, don't talk over them. Let them finish their sentence. Let them present themselves first. Unfortunately, the younger person don't have as much say as the older person. That's why in Korea, like younger people have a lot lot harder time when it comes to business and when it comes to like working conditions. To a senior who is significantly older than you, you should definitely bow down 90 degrees. If someone is like only a couple years older than you, you know, you could do like the 45 degree and like the head thing. Even if they are the same age as you or younger, usually if you meet them for the first time, especially in business meeting, you should still bow down. Goodbye when you leave is 안녕히 계세요. When they are leaving, you say 안녕히 가세요. Only use your palms when you're pointing to things. The finger pointing is very rude to the seniors. Try to use your palms when you're maybe like directing something on the paper, when you're directing to someone or some kind of location. Like here's the bathroom. Here is the page number two we're talking about. Even if you're being catered and you're the younger one and they pay for the coffee, you should be the one getting the coffee. And when you're handing the coffee to someone, definitely use two hands like this to show some respect. For women, you guys should definitely watch out for skin revealing clothes. Definitely don't wear this at the first meeting. <laughs> something that looks formal, respectful, and something that makes you look put together. Showing cleavage, showing your butt, showing your belly button, like showing a lot of skin is not the thing in Korea still to this day. A lot of people actually are smokers in Korea, especially men, especially older people. So if they go out for a smoke, like a smoke break, that is completely normal. If you want to go out and smoke with them, actually Actually, that is one of like this business cheat key in Korea if that makes sense if you smoke with the person there's a saying that you get closer to them it's like this little intimate moment for you guys a lot of my guy friends say they started smoking because of business because they, they want to get closer to the business partners or the people they want to work with also in just general business meetings in Korea a lot of the seniors or upper high like the bosses sometimes will pressure you to smoke or pressure you to do things that you don't want to and sometimes people have to do certain things in order to get to the good side of the boss. Let's talk about 
entertainment meetings up. If you guys are in the entertainment business or ever go into the entertainment business, you guys will notice that 95% of the time usually take place at nights or in the evenings because a lot of people in the entertainment system, they work till like in the morning or they work all weekend. You know? I mean, if you guys know, like entertainment is more like a 24 hour job instead of like nine to five jobs. You have meetings in the studios, you have meeting at coffee shops, to producers, to directors. There's a lot of weekend meetings. I've actually had a lot of meetings like after 10 p.m. So it is completely normal. Now let's go to the Peshik. There is no such thing as Peshik in America or in the Western countries. So Peshik is more like the group meetings or like a group hangout. So Peshik usually take place for dinner. Usually in big groups, you go to like a restaurant where they serve alcohol. So you eat, you drink, usually men stay till like in the morning. And the women usually end up going home earlier. Um, I'll talk about that in a bit, why they do that. So if you're in a peshik and you're the mangne or the youngest one or the newest comer, you kind of have to do all the work. If you're at the barbecue spots, you have to be the one cooking the meat because you're the youngest. You have to be the one like setting the table. A lot of places in Korea is self-serve, so you have to like put your own spoons and chopsticks. Before you eat, you also have to let your seniors kind of pick up the food first and let them eat and then you have your own food. Here are the important drinking rules in Korea. So number one, if you're the youngest, like I said, you have to pour the drink for them. And when they pour the drink for you, what you should do is take two hands with the little, you know, soju glass. You turn to the side. Now you turn to the side because it's just a sign of respectfulness. If you just drink in front of their face, it's kind of like considered rude. It's also a sign of bad luck if you pour a drink for yourself. So you kind of have to do something called nunchi. Nunchi is basically being quick at scanning the scene. So if you're the youngest, you kind of have to scan everything that's going on. For example, the seniors has emptied his glass. You have to quickly like pour it for them. Or if you want to pour something for yourself, I'm sure the other people will have nunchi as well to pour a drink for you. So are Peshiks mandatory or can you just go home if you're tired? Now Peshiks in Korea are usually mandatory meaning it's obviously not in the contract. You're not gonna get paid to go to Peshiks. It is usually frowned upon if you don't go to these Peshiks. The bosses will kind of see you as you don't have uidi which is like they can't really depend you at the workplace if you're not really good at drinking and it's very very hard to leave early from Peshiks. So usually Peshiks have about you know two or three rounds if it gets long or fourth round if it gets really long so first round is usually when you eat dinner second round is like at a different bar where you just drink third round is usually when they make the woman go home and the men stay and go to usually karaoke bar some other services um, that is pretty common in Korea I'll just leave it at that so it's pretty sad but you know how you act in these projects really affect your workplace sometimes your bosses will treat you differently based on how you are at projects or different meetings outside of workplaces Koreans love karaoke you usually have to sing one or two songs so definitely prepare yourself one or two songs if you want to get on the good side of your boss now projects are considered expenses in Korea so if you guys know anything about taxes, the more expenses the company spend, the less tax a company has to pay. So that's why usually during tax season, you will, you will have a lot of headshakes that you have to attend to. Now going back to the karaoke's because it's such a big thing in Korea, there's many different types of karaoke's. Especially if you're female, know your different types of karaoke's because there's karaoke's that you will want to go to. And the karaoke's where you walk in and you're like... What the hell is going on? So the first type of karaoke is the karaoke you see in the TV. It's just a regular karaoke. You go with your friends, you just have a fun time, and that's it. The second type of karaoke is where they serve high and expensive liquor. Third type of karaoke, you have services such as you have women or certain type of men who come into the room. They might talk to you, they might pour drinks for you, so it's kind of like extra services. Another type of karaoke is where they have extra services. I'll just leave it at that for another video. These extra service karaoke's are the type of karaoke's you should be on your extra guard about if you're 
not really into that so as you can see overall the biggest most important thing in Korean business meetings is knowing the age gap so knowing your age will definitely help you to scan the room if you should speak formal or informal the way you should use your hand gesture number two there's a big pressure on saying hello and goodbye so, so definitely when you bow remember to have your hands out of your pockets don't put your hands flinging everywhere just you know stand still or put it on your stomach like this and just bow deep as you can if you don't know who they are if you don't know what their age is other small details in business meetings other than entertainment meetings might include you covering up your tattoos for example if you have tattoos all over your arms or your body usually like teaching jobs or corporate jobs people don't usually dye their hair like blonde or like pink or blue having natural hair color and making yourself look dandy and natural no heavy makeup is very important don't wear sandals or flip-flops at the same time in korea it's not really normal to wear high high heels so something that looks minimal i hope you guys enjoyed that video let me know if there's any etiquettes in your country that doesn't exist in the american or the korean culture let me know what you think about the korean etiquettes what you do at business meetings do you find things weird do you find some of these rules harsh so if you do have a meeting coming up, good luck!